Welcome to the 26th episode of the MC Knitting Adventures podcast. My name is Colleen. And my name is May. Welcome back to our returning viewers. And for those of you who are watching us for the first time, welcome. Today's adventure takes us to St. Thomas 2019. And we visited the Little Red Mitten, but we'll before we get into that, Colleen will talk about what we're wearing. So let's first of all talk about May's cowl. And she's worn that before. That's the Anguli cowl by Hilary Smith Callis. And it is one of your favorites. Favorites, I love wearing it. It always sits like this. You know, you don't have to turn it in. It never moves. It just sits like this. Put it on your head, that's it. That's great. No so, fuss, um, no muss. I used Comfort Sock, Barocco Comfort Sock. And you have said that it feels really nice around it's your neck. It's very soft. It's not too tight. It just sits nice. And the other nice thing about um, Barocco Comfort Sock, there is no wool in it. So its price point is nice. It's not too expensive and uh, it's easy to take care of. Yeah, and it's good for me for when you get up late in the morning and you need to look good, <laughs> you just throw it on. <laughs> there you go. Well, you always look great, so that's fantastic. Thank you. So that's what May's wearing. And I'm wearing the Stormy Sky Shawl. And that's by Life is Cozy, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, and this yarn is yarn that May and I dyed. It is? It is. We I'm did almost this. shocked when you say that. Oh, I know, we did this. So it is um, lovely, and it's open, and I think I'd like to do another one of these in a cotton. So I'm going to look into that and see. This was, I just had one skein um, and so it's a nice size. It's very nice. It's very nice. Not as no, soft as this. No, not as soft as But yours. it's really quite light and nice. It is. I the like color it's is the amazing. openness. I know. We did a great job. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing. And next we're going to talk about finished objects. My first finished object was part of a mystery did long. It was the Twin It Up Cal, M Cal by Cozy Up Knits. Um, if you can see the little logo for the two sisters, so it's Katie and Chrissy. And it was great. They put out a new um, clue every week and it built and built. Um, I chose, it was a three skein shawl. I chose Cascade uh, Heritage Sock, a plain navy and a plain cream. And then the speckle that I have is a Leo and Roxy yarn company. It's an MCN. Has cashmere in it. Oh. Yes, there's cashmere oh. in it. <laughs> Are we surprised? Really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, we're going to hold it up because it is a big, comfy, cozy shawl. So if you hold it that way. I'm not sure we're going to get it all in. Now you've blocked this, Colleen? I have blocked it. And it needed to be. It was kind of wiggly and it has blocked out very nicely. Well, it's turned out to be quite the shawl. It's not anything, like the nice thing about these in-alongs, it's not anything that you would normally have knit or a pattern exactly. you would have used. Exactly. So it makes you, you know, think outside the box. Exactly. And I think this is definitely an outside the box for you. <laughs> exactly. You know, for some people this might be what they do, but I think it turned out quite well. Um, but it's not something that you would pick for yourself. Normally do. And there's all kinds of different stitches. That's the other thing that I like about them. There's some lace work. There's some um, texture here. Uh, there is a, there's an eye cord here and you had to pick up stitches. I absolutely loved it. It was lots of fun and it was so neat to see the different colors and what you had to do. Um, so it's really, when it was so cold at the beginning right. of February, I had, it was having it over my shoulders and it felt great. It'd be nice to see you wear this on a, on a podcast, maybe next podcast exactly. or something. That's we'll great. That for sure. So that was fun for you. It was fun for me. I had a great time. Yeah, so that's my first one. Now my next finished object is for me. Oh, there they are. Me. So these are a pair of socks. So this um, yarn is the Estelle Sock Twin. And I'm going to have May put in um, the ball band for that so that you can see it up close because it's a smaller one. Um, the pattern is Katie Lou's Sock Pattern by Dragon Pine Designs. Is this your favorite sock pattern? You know what? It's the one that tends to fit people the best, and that's because of the ribbed in the leg, and what it does is it snugs it in, and um, it's been kind of popular in the family. It has. They're great. They're exactly. very comfortable socks. I can't wait to wear these ones. Exactly. These so great. it was Christmas yarn. It's kind of your birthday socks early. Um, but I hope you'll like them and enjoy them. They'll definitely keep your feet warm. Like my other ones I wear. Yes, These are great. you do so wear them all good. the time. So thank you for that. You're very welcome. And then the last finished object is also something for me. 
So I had created the Gold Dust Shawl by Lisa Haynes, and then May liked it. And so what I did was I used some yarn, once again, that you and I dyed, and I made a small version. This is beautiful. It looks really great on me. This had, is going to be very, I can't wait to wear this it's next so, time. It's right. so, it looks really, really good. Yeah. Okay. Next podcast, I will wear this. Perfect. It's blocked out beautifully. It's just the right size. Now, we talked about um, sewing the ends together so you could just pull it over your head. Right. But this one is so light with all this airy feeling, with so light, I think the knot at the back won't be a problem. Right. And it will make it sit properly, I think. Now, did you do this on purpose? Um, dyed yarn object that we have and a dyed yarn object or does it just happen that way? It just happened that way. But it was kind of neat that it we is. dyed these yarns. I know. I can't believe it. This was our, this was the what yarn that we dyed with the speckled that was Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid. And somebody has told us that you can get Kool-Aid at Lens Mills in oh, some okay. places. Oh, okay. We should try that. We Well, we, we bought enough when we went to the States oh, yeah. so we should be good for a little while. So we can tell the viewers if it's there. Exactly. Or not. Yeah, we should go look. That would be a great yeah. idea. Okay, so those are my finished objects. And May, any finished objects for you? I do have some finished objects. I had a request from uh, some people at work um, to make some bracelets for them. They're called the Lava Bracelets. Yep, so there's for aromatherapy. So you put some uh, drops of essential oils on the lava beads that are sitting right here at the front, and then you get that scent all day long. And so a, a girl at work was requesting one because she had a friend that she needed a gift for, so um, I was happy to make a couple of bracelets for her. And then another uh, teacher requested another bracelet, and I made a bracelet for her. So, oh, perfect. Um, yeah, I'm just making the bracelets like crazy. So <laughs> we might have to go into business and sell these bracelets because they are a big hit. They are a big hit, and they look great. Mm -hmm. So those are our finished objects, and next we're going to talk about works in progress. My first work in progress is socks. Uh, we've got some people that with birthdays in May. I know it seems like a long way away, but I want to make sure I get these socks done. So these socks are for my son Thomas's girlfriend, Taylor. Like those. And so once again, I'm using that pattern because as I said, it's been a success in the past. So it's Katie Lou Sock Pattern by Dragon Pine Designs. And um, this yarn is Premier Yarns and it's called Wool Free Sock. And we like to try and do this as often as we can for the kids who might just grab things and throw things in the wash and we don't want them to worry about it. You've had socks made out of this as well. Mm, I have, I love them. And exactly. I and this is a different color. This is called Meadows. So it's got purple, a little bit orange and brown, and little pops of this kind of brilliant greeny yellow. And I love it. It's kind of making it. It's a kind of pattern. fun. Yeah, it's yeah, fun. It is. Yeah. So I'm thrilled with that. Now, knitting needles. Let's talk about what I'm doing. I had purchased some fixed circular uh, chow goo um, sock needles. And I was loving them. And they were great. And that was good. And then I thought, I was listening to some podcasts, and... They were talking about how thin the cable was on the uh, interchangeable sock needles uh, by Chowgu. And I thought, mm, well, maybe I should just try And it. I did. And I love it. The cable is flexible. It doesn't get in the way. It's easy to maneuver. And um, when you're in the car, um, using Magic Loop on socks is fantastic because I have dropped double pointed needles down the car and I can attest to that and Mace had, had to, to rescue them. me <laughs> she's had to rescue me on a number of occasions so this is much better as we go um so I'm really happy with those yeah, I think they're great doing they're great. lovely and they'll be good when they're finished all right so that's that then I'm working on a baby blanket so this is a Mary Maxim pattern and I am doing the blue one so this is the one that I'm doing it's a kind of a basket weave pattern and this came in a kit that had all of these colors of yarn and so every single one of those balls of yarn will make a, a car seat blanket. car seat blanket and there's a gentleman at work whose wife is expecting and so we decided right. we would get this done so i am pretty close to being done which is good because i think right. the babies do fairly soon it is march oh dear okay it is a march <laughs> so, but these are a perfect size for a car seat 
sack, you know. Um, I don't think when my son was little I had a car seat blanket. Right. Um, but the, the, the fit's perfect right over there. And the colors are amazing that came in that kit. I know. So this is an aqua. I didn't know whether it was a boy or a girl, and I thought that would be just the right color for either. And so... Nice. It's turned I'm out really, really happy nice. Yeah. And so this is Mary Maxim Baby Value Yarn. But it's soft, and I think it'll wash well, and I'm so pleased with it. I love the texture of it and the basket weave type thing. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice. Thank you. All right. And You've last. been busy. You've been very busy. I have. Your finger must be feeling better. Colleen broke her finger up if you know better. Yep. It's, and is uh, it feeling better? It's because, better. Because you've been able it's to better. do some, some things. Yes, yeah, it's absolutely better. So I'm very thrilled with that. Good. That was a bit of an event. Yeah. Okay. This is something for you. Oh. And you've seen me working on it, but I'm not sure you actually knew it was for you. Oh. Okay. Sure. So, if you want to open it up. All right. This, this is, is actually a lunch pail, but it works really well <laughs> as a project bag. I don't <laughs> so think it was very expensive either. No, it wasn't. Well, look how wide it opens up to. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, how do you like the feel of that? Beautiful. Soft. Okay. Lovely. Good. So this wow. is another hack. So we tend to, with May, we hack the pattern, and we do that because we want it to be smaller for you and not right. quite so big. So this comes from this pattern, which is called Copenhagen Calling, which is by Isabel Kramer. And I am so thrilled with that, first of all, that I did it for you because there is mosaic knitting in there and I'd never done it before. And for those of you who want to try it, it's nice. And this is a great pattern to try. So the cowl itself is a double wrap and I just cut, I put the number of stitches in half and made sure I had the right count. Oh, now how does it feel? Soft. It's gorgeous. Good. Now let me tell you about this yarn. Wow. So this is called Sugar Bush Bliss. I'm going to tell you what's in it. There's a 70% extra fine superwash merino. Nice. Okay. 20% mulberry silk. Nice. And that's why it's got the nice sheen to it. So that's why it. it feels so soft? No, that's what is the 10% cashmere. There's cashmere? There's cashmere. So wow. we had a number of people think that it was time for me to make you something with cashmere. So I snuck off to the yarn store when you weren't wow. around. And, and you bought me cashmere? I bought you cashmere. So That's so nice. Exactly. And you know what? A little peer pressure never hurts anybody. <laughs> Thank you so much, viewers. I have okay. now have cashmere. That's, that's right. That's gorgeous. Not only is it cashmere, but I love this pattern. Exactly. I you know, love the colors that you picked. I think it's going to be nice. Yeah. Now, this will block out a bit because I've never done right. mosaic. So if you if you grab that okay. side and I'll grab this, I'm just going to hold needles. So right, sure. Anything. But you can see, see that it's going to block out a little bit mm -hmm. when I do that. But I think that's going to be really gorgeous. comfortable oh, and yes. nice and soft around right. your neck. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I am cashmere worthy yes. after all. Yes, you are. Absolutely. Thank you, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so those are my works in progress. And next, we're going to talk about our adventure. Today's adventure takes us to St. Thomas, Ontario, a small little community outside of London where we live. We've talked about St. Thomas before. It was actually, uh, The Little Red Mitten was the very first podcast that we ever did. It was the very first yarn store that we went to. Uh, that we were able to take photographs and that's how we got really started in, in exactly. this podcasting business. So um, it it's was a, been just a little over a year and so we thought we should go back. We did because it's a, a new owners but Colleen will talk a little bit more about the store when we, we get to that part of okay, the adventure. Perfect. And uh, but let me tell you a little bit about St. Thomas. It's a small community, population's not uh, too large. It's right next door to Port Stanley, where um, we love to go. It's only a half an hour from where we live. Yeah. And Port Stanley is a nice little beach, and I've got some great photographs from there. You do, absolutely. And maybe if I find some, I will put a couple up of uh, that beach. And we go there for usually french fries and ice cream. Yes, not french necessarily in that order. <laughs> Uh, we do all the way home. We, we go to Shaw's Ice Cream on the way way home uh, yes. from there. Um, but St. Thomas is a lovely little community and while we were there we got to go to a bead store which was fantastic. Uh, we were starting to make some bracelets and I needed some specific beads so we looked on the internet and lo and behold there was a wonderful bead store and I can't remember the name of it. Do you remember? Yeah, Oasis Beads. Oasis? Mm -hmm. And it was in kind of a mall plaza. Yeah. And um, Wow, what a store that was, wasn't it? It was, it was so much yeah, fun. You yeah, you wouldn't expect that to be there. Um, but they had tons of beads and different uh, 
bracelets and they were already made up and some kits we actually bought one in our souvenirs we'll show you that in our souvenir exactly. section um they had any kind of bead and any kind of gemstone and charms and charms and, yeah. Um, great little place, glad we found it. I actually took a picture of the mall with me with the, the panda, the little <laughs> car in the mall that was kind Padding of fun. to Bear, I Padding think. to Bear. We had a great lunch, we had a wonderful adventure, yeah, exactly. although the weather has not been um, the best lately because we, we can't really go too far because exactly. we, we can't predict okay. the weather, like minus 20. Yeah, that's right. It's been very cold, we can't predict the road conditions. That's right, we lucked out on that day. We did. So considering... Uh, Considering all that, those factors taken into account, we still were able to do this small little adventure, which uh, right. we just, it's a, it's a great day with Jumbo the Elephant, we still feel, <laughs> still brings a smile on my exactly, face. Exactly, that's right. And uh, yeah, so that's that adventure and the store itself, a Little Red Mitten. Colleen will talk a little bit about uh, the Little Red Mitten and uh, the owners there. Exactly. So there are new owners and they are? Jolyn and Carrie. And they are lovely people and they were there to talk with us and so that was lovely. We walked in and same store, the whole front of it had been opened up. So they painted it a bright white. They have taken out some shelving which actually lights, lets the Light in. sunlight in. There's a beautiful table that you could sit and knit at That's which true. I, I think is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, they still have everything um all the different rooms are the different weights so that's still the same uh but they they've done the knitting needles are placed in a little bit different place um you could really see the difference when you walk in i'm I not know. usually that observant exactly but you could really see wow you kind of walked in and went wow because the shelving went almost to the ceiling before and it yeah. takes a lot of light away from that thing. right and like you said they put that table in the middle they have the table when you first walk in that area. Mm -hmm. They also still have the table at the back yep. where people can knit. Yep, absolutely. And it just seems warmer. Not that it wasn't warm before, no. but it's it's it was great before, and now it's I would say it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it just seems open and bright and inviting and exactly. Mm -hmm. And they have still lots of lovely yarns like they used to. They've got Leo and Roxy. Um, they have Richard DeVries. He was actually there just a little bit ago because they were doing their 10th year uh, anniversary. Uh, we were there the week before that. So we missed out on that, but I'm glad we went when we did because we were able to take pictures and right. do all that. They have Cascade on Manos del Uruguay and they have all kinds of great yarns for color work. You need something that's a little toothier so that it kind of sticks together when you're doing color work. They've got opal yarns, all kinds of sock yarns. It was just a joy to go and it was neat to be going to a store that you like and have liked in the past and as you say like you like it equally if not more right. just because of the way things are set up it's like a little bit like going to a new store and I would think that the Little Red Mitten is one of your uh, area go-to stores that you love. it absolutely is if I I'm thinking about a project I know I could go there and find the yarns that I need to have and That's I really great. I like the atmosphere uh, Joan Janes who was a former owner is lovely I've taken classes from her and I really enjoyed working with her. Now is she going to still continue take, giving classes there or? Um, I think she's she done might. a little bit um, I know she's doing some designing I think retirement is a lovely thing and so oh. she wants to enjoy some of that as well um, but she's lovely and so I feel lucky that I had a chance to take classes with her and I'm hoping that with some of the new staff I'll be able to take some classes as well. So really I enjoy going to the Little Red Mitten. And we had a fun adventure. We make it. We made a day of it with going to the bead store. We made exactly. it going to the yarn store and having exactly. a nice lunch and being in the mall and you know yep. being St. Thomas not being a large place and being in the winter it still ended up being one of our we had a great nice day. little adventures yeah. and having a exactly. wonderful day. Exactly. So. We do have fun that's for yeah. sure. And it's nice because St. Thomas is just enough away that I get to get some knitting done in the car but it's not too far away that I'm thinking oh my goodness what happens if it starts to snow like we're close right. enough so it works really well and it's not a pair of socks trip <laughs> it might be a no. big toe trip <laughs> yeah you won't get a pair of socks done but you could get you know part of a pair of socks done which is always good so that's our adventure and next we're going to talk about our souvenirs my first souvenir comes from the little red mitten we have 
a knit along going on and it is a one skein shawl knit along and we're calling it the souvenir uh, souvenir shawl knit along so you go out to places and you find that one skein of yarn that you love and then we want you to be able to use it as this knit along so the um, pattern that I'm using is called the souvenir shawl by Maria Samuelson and it looks lovely. I'm, it's light, it's got some lace at the bottom. So the reason why, when we went to Little Red Mitten, I thought, I'm gonna find a skein of shawl. It, it is the very first store we asked if we could take pictures and they were so kind to let us do that. So I thought that would be what I'd like. Now, we know that I like a little bit of merino, a little bit of cashmere. And in this case, I was able to find some yarn that had merino, cashmere, and silk. So it is beautiful yarn. It is a one of a kind. It is by Leo and Roxy. And that is the people that own, no, Roxy is one of the people that own the Little Red Mitten. Exactly. So it's lovely. It's the whole souvenir part takes on a whole new meaning. Now, I was really trying hard to leave it in a skein and not cake it up and not get started. And I didn't make it. I, we didn't, I, yeah, I started already. So here it is all caked up. I'll let you hold it. Now being a knitter, does it matter if it's caked or not caked? Would you like to, knitters like to see it in the, well, in the skein? Um, I had, did put a picture on Instagram, so I don't feel quite so guilty as I might. Um, <laughs> they do say that you're not supposed to cake up your yarn too much before you actually use it. Okay. There's something about it stretching a, a, a bit. I, I'm not, I have not had cakes of yarn for years and years and years, so I don't know that, but I've heard that. So okay. um, I like to leave it in the skein until I'm just ready to use it. All right, well, good to know. And this is a beautiful color, and I'm just gonna show you the start. So technically this is a work in progress, but it is part of the knit along. So this is how it starts. There's a little bit of open work down the middle, but you can see that this yarn is gonna do what we want wow. it to do. It's going to show off lace beautifully. This part will open up a little bit. Love the color. I know. Well, it's right. purple. It, it makes me happy, right? And there's some good speckling right. in it. So this was that skein. That's what I managed right. to find at Little Red Mitten. I could have found a whole lot more, but I thought, okay, souvenir cow, let's do that. So I'm really, really happy with it. There's right. lots of yardage on this. I'm trying to remember. I love to see uh, 420 using, yards. I love to see that you're using the souvenirs and not um, exactly. boxes in the basement. Exactly. So Me it's, too. It's great. I'm really thrilled with yeah. it. And the other thing that I've decided, because sometimes you end up with these little bits of yarn left, um, I think for next Christmas, I know it's just February, but I think <clears throat> for next Christmas, what I want to do is make little socks for people. Oh, that's a great so idea. So if you've got a little bit of yarn left, you can make a little mini sock and it can be a Christmas ornament oh, for people. Oh, that's great. And I'm going to make some little sheep, wooden sheep ornaments for Christmas ornaments. Oh, so that'll be fantastic. Could, uh, yeah. There you go. Maybe we could have some giveaways. Oh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. that Sounds would be great. Good. What a great idea you did. And I'm so glad. I, I'm happy when Colleen uses the yarn because the basement's getting overflowed. <laughs> we, we should just have a, we'll just have a podcast on all the yarn that Colleen has. It would be days. It would be like a, a two-day podcast. <laughs> Absolutely maybe, would. Maybe a fortnight. There you go. Exactly. So, anyway. um, so that is what I got at the Little Red Mitten. And when I was at Oasis Beads, we mm -hmm. managed to find all kinds of things. We did. We found these so kits. So you, you start talking about that. I'm going to grab okay. what we need. Yeah. All right. So what we did, we found these bracelet kits where you, you actually put the bracelet together and they have these little charms you put on them. I think I got the charm hope. Unfortunately, I can't find my bracelet. I don't know what I've done with it, um, but we bought lots of beads. Um, this is actually the bra one of the bracelets. That, this is not the one I made, but we bought a few that little kits the with the world on it. I yes. thought mine had um, hope on it or something. No, no. Oh, yeah, okay. that's well, yours. Yeah. I didn't make the one with the, with the world on it. Yeah. But I can't find it. It's frustrating me. You ever done that? <laughs> you know, where you you put something somewhere and there's only a couple of places that I put things like this and it's not there. So I'm kind We're of out of options. It. We're gonna find um, it for you. I just find that so frustrating. So I'm gonna I'm not sure I can hold my hand up the way I need to hold it. But there they it is. They turned out quite nice. We made yeah. them in a kit. Uh, they weren't too expensive, but exactly. We really like. I would so like to make these for people actually. There's mine. If you didn't see it up close, because sometimes it's difficult. Oh, and this one's peace. 
peace. There this you go. And mine is harmony. Is harmony. Yeah, there you peace. go. And I think that's part of what we liked. Right. Peace Absolutely. Some harmony and and this is a necklace that I'm going to make. It's a little it's a shiny kit. and a poly it's a kit. So it's got the charm and the cording and so we were thrilled with those because it's kind of nice when you're trying to do something new to get the idea from a kit and then you can pick the pieces out. Right. Now, here are the things that you picked out. All oh, right. So I'll let you show those. Okay. Well, that's where I came up with the word hope. That's where I you knew I got something with hope <laughs> on it. I have these little hope, um, I guess they would be little charms that I'm going to make, for little bracelets for people. I also got these, um, I don't know what they're called. They're... Uh, Bales, I think. Is Bales? What Bales, yep. And what they do is if you get a nice uh, stone, mm -hmm. you can glue these on to the stone and then put the necklace through there. I don't know if you can see that in there, but those, I'm excited to try that. And when I go to the beach, I'm hoping to pick up a nice little, you know, um, rock or mm -hmm. polish it up, put it on one of these and wear it as a necklace. That'll be great. Yeah. Perfect. And so um, I got them in different sizes. These are a little bit more fancy because they have a little ridge around the, there. But I was fun that store. We could have spent we hours in there looking at all the different charms for anything that you liked. Right. Um, so a little bit of everything for everybody in there. Exactly. So I'm going to show you. you well, I found these are some little Tree of Life charms, which I like. You have and a lot of jewelry with Tree of, tree of Life. Look. I do like that. And these are some little oh, I love this. sheep. There you go. Now, what's your plan for the sheep? Well, I'm, we'll talk about that when I talk about the knit along. And this is also part of what might happen in the knit along. So there's some little cars because we have a little red car that is part of our logo. And so when I was looking for things, here's the Oasis Beads card. Now, what I was thinking mm -hmm. was that I'm going to make project bags for the prizes for our knit along. Once again, souvenir shawl knit along. One skein shawl, it can be whatever weight you want. Normally it's a fingering weight. A skein of yarn that you found that is a souvenir for you that you just want to use up. And this I, is the one skein one that you were making? Today. That's this the is, one I'm doing. This so, is a nice one. So that's the souvenir shawl. I'm happy with that. Um, this is something called Easy Goes It, which should work well as well, this is a night train shawl, which I've also made, and it's lovely. And the stormy sky shawl, which I'm wearing right now, you could also do with the one skate. Oh, really? Absolutely. It's just one skate. Oh, that, that's nice. Too. Exactly. Yes. So there's lots of options. This one is free. Some of these other ones, I think the Cascade one is free as well. So it's not going to cost you anything. If you want to get involved, just find that skein that you've got. Anyway, we want you to get involved. So please, um, we've got it on our Ravelry page with our Ravelry group. We have a chatter thread, we have a finished object thread, and I'm gonna get started on there. I've been doing a lot of knitting, but I need to get working on that. So is we're really thrilled. Date? There is an end date. I think it is, it'll say in Ravelry, I think it might be the 21st of March. I okay. think it's kind of like the first day of spring. That's when it's Oh, over. that'll be nice. So you've got time to get it done because it is a one skein shawl and most of us and can so do it what, quickly. Refresh my memory what happens again. People knit along with you. No, knit along with you. It's different than a knit along. Right. It's just um, people will knit and they find something in their stash or one skein or not. Right. And then they find a pattern and they knit, knit this and then they submit a, um, picture. a picture of it. Mm -hmm. And then we do a random generated number. number and then we provide a gift. Yes, we do. Oh. Well, you know, it's a win-win for everybody, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. So the reason why I picked out these charms was I thought those would be great as to make up some progress keepers to be the pulls on the um, on the uh, project bags. Oh, that would be great. So you're yeah. going to make a project bag for... Yes, we're going to have more than one prize, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then this would be on the project bag. That's the plan. Well... Oh, I know, I'm you so excited. Like, you better get knitting those. <laughs> when, if I could knit, I would knit one right now. <laughs> so I'll keep posting on Instagram. I'll post my progress when it comes to this one. Um, this isn't a mystery knit along, so post anything on uh, Instagram. I think the hashtag is hashtag souvenir shawl cal. And that's um, the hashtag that I've chosen, and it works well. So um, I did... Uh, 
send something on Instagram to the designer of the souvenir shawl and she's following me so it's kind oh, of nice. cool that we can let her see what we're doing I think she would be thrilled and I'm looking forward to seeing the photos of what you come up with I think that's great exactly it's and the colors that you pick so yeah. yeah I'm excited about that yeah sometimes this time of year it's not quite spring and winter's kind of lingering so we thought get that shawl done do some quick so a nice quick knit along and that will be great so and, and so uh, that that was our adventure and our and our souvenirs and and you know the, with the weather like this I think we're due we're ready for another big you know adventure, adventure. don't you think we've got to so. come up with something I don't know what it's going to be I know we'll have to but let's come out. up with something that is not winter because winter can be kind of drab and people getting <laughs> through it and we've got to just support each other through all this winter don't you exactly think? I think and, so yeah so it's good that you're knitting and you can do that through the winter but let's do something different and we'll see what our next adventure is so. Yeah. Watch us for the next 27th and see where we go. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you'd like to see in the comments down below. We really like doing this for you. So until next time, you take care.